In case you missed it, at the end of last week, the New South Wales Government announced they are not proceeding with the proposed development plans for Ingleside. Discussions of major growth at Ingleside have been floating around now for decades, and in 2016 the Government proposed a major development of some 3,400 dwellings. Now fast forward to years of devastating bushfires across New South Wales and the introduction of higher standards for development near bushfire prone land and the 3,400 dwellings was reduced to a proposal of 980. Council and many in our community opposed that proposal. Personally, I couldn't see how the reduced housing could generate enough financial infrastructure contributions to then provide all the new infrastructure required to meet the new development. I was concerned ratepayers would end up bearing this cost and all the independent reports to Council agreed. Plus, there were still issues with bushfire, traffic and potential damage to the environment and cultural heritage of the area, and so many more other issues. So while some in Ingleside might be disappointed that their property will not get the uplift they've been hoping for, I do think this is a common sense outcome for our area and good to finally have some certainty on it. Planning for Ingleside will now be handed back to Council and we certainly won't be proposing a massive new development for the area. Our focus is on diversifying our housing stock in areas that already have good infrastructure so that we can create more affordable local housing opportunities. In the meantime, we're asking the government to give us some of the land planned for the Ingleside development so that it can be used for the community for other purposes, things like sports fields, passive recreational spaces and biodiversity offsets. So thank you, thank you very much to all of you who spoke up to the voice of your concerns about the Ingleside proposal over the years to help get this great outcome. And thank you very much to the government for listening. Have a great weekend, everyone.